Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So tell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Bipolar robs you of what makes you you. It can take from you the core of your being and replace it with something that is completely opposite of who and what you truly are. Bipolar disorder is a mood disorder that alters a person's life. They can never go back to who they were before. It's estimated that more than 10 million Americans suffer from bipolar disorder. The prevalence of bipolar disorder is around 4% within the United States, and it can affect everyone, even some of our biggest social media influencers. As of late, the internet says that Gabby Hanna is not okay. Her friends are concerned about her mental health after she posted a hundred videos on her TikTok account in a single day. Hello and welcome to Lovely TTV. Gabby Hanna became popular as a comedian on Vine back in 2014. The 31 year old internet personality started sharing videos online in 2013 and she amassed a large fan base over the past nine years with millions of fans throughout her social media. Fans of the social media influencer Gabby Hanna became concerned over her disturbing behavior on TikTok, which includes posting more than 150 videos over the course of two days. Gabby previously announced that she had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder, which causes extreme mood swings, including emotional highs and lows. Hey TikTok, hey Gen Z, I got a question for you, <laughs> cause I can't sleep. <laughs> But I can see why are you so accepting of the idea of dissociative identity disorder where little kids decide that they can switch personalities whenever they want and they all have different names and wear different clothes and they have their own little room in the house that you built in your mind and here's how you get to it. Not only did the excessive number of TikToks concern her fans, but some of her TikTok videos showed and read message written in lipstick on her mirror. Alexander Hamilton, why do you write like you're running out of time? What did Eliza have that Alexander Hamilton didn't? Faith, the orphanage. Many of the clips also seem to be religious. Your own reality. And because you don't have faith in God, and because you didn't just say, God, I'm kind of scared. I believe in you. Will you please only allow me to see what you want me to see? Most of her videos were viewed hundreds and thousands of times while viewers went through what they dubbed a psychotic break. As Hannah made more and more videos, the number of views increased with some of them being viewed as much as a million times. Her latest videos have reached almost 6 million views since posting over the weekend. Her comment section is loaded with a lot of supportive comments from fans. One of her followers even wrote, Hi Gabby, I think it would be lovely to reach out to a loved one. Spend time with someone you love. Other people were on her TikToks basically sharing their concern. Someone close to her should do a wellness check before she does something that she can't take back. Her antics on TikTok got so crazy that even the mainstream media is reporting on Gabby Hanna. You may not have heard of Gabby Hanna, but 7 million TikTok users have. Apparently not everyone can do this, like touch their pinky to their front finger. The social media star has gained an enormous fan base for her videos. But recently, that fan base has become a lot more concerned. This last video that she posted has millions of people worried. Like, she's not there. She's not thinking properly. I personally find it kind of negligent to the public that this is allowed to play out in the way that it is. Hannah's it's content used to focus on storytelling, like music, sucks. and poetry. I get it. I know. It's such a conundrum. I get what I want, but I can't have much fun with it. But now she's posting videos about race, religion, and gender. And not just a few but hundreds. That's leading some followers to become worried she may be having a mental health crisis, though NBC has not verified her mental state. When are you going to stop letting Gabby Hanna post, tweets one follower, pleading for TikTok to intervene. But the social media platform continues to push the videos to users, where they are racking up millions of views. Platforms are not in the business of diagnosing mental illness, 
And so that that's where I think just offering support is really important. It's unclear what prompted the uncharacteristic post from Hannah, but the situation is sparking a conversation about what to do if a public figure is in crisis. It's not just about what to do when someone is in crisis, but I think this is really where the platform needs to step in is how can we support our creators to prevent those kinds of crises from happening? So what can viewers do when they see uncharacteristic behavior on social media? Experts say leaving encouraging comments is acceptable. It's also okay to alert the platform or loved ones. But beyond that, it may be best not to jump to conclusions. One of her latest posts shows her asking for prayer after claiming that someone broke into her home. However, three hours earlier, she let in a stranger named Nicholas. Nicholas? Hey, Nicholas. Do you mind being on camera or you don't want to? I don't mind, I don't mind. Okay, so I wanna, oh my God, my hair. A friend just texted me and I told him that I was gonna go on a run for a guy who showed up at my house and was just feeling a little lost, asked to use the bathroom and now we're gonna go for a run together. He asked to pray with me, it was really nice. And his text was, Gab, listen to me now, get that man out of your house. Nick then started posting his own TikTok videos from her home. All right, everybody, I'm literally inside of the house right now. And appeared to be in one of Hannah's videos. According to one of the videos posted by a TikTok user, he was allowed into Hannah's home after knocking on her door and asking if he could use the bathroom. Think you could use the bathroom? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Come on. Thank you. Hey, there's time. Yeah, thank you. What's your name? My name is Nick. Nick? Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Right there. Is right okay. here? Right there. Right here? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Want to laugh your ass off? Hannah tells the camera in one of her videos, this is a stranger. Want to laugh your ass off? This is a stranger. <laughs> Do what you just did. I'll share my water with you. Literally. Bots. In another video, Hannah thanks him for waking her up to be able to help this little lost angel. She also calls him her brother in Christ. We already prayed and had our we coffee prayed. and listened to music. Yes. I'm so happy I met you this morning. Yes. Thank you for knocking on my door, Nicholas. Yes. You are a brother in Christ. Nick filmed several TikToks from Hannah's house. One showed him petting a cat indoors, while another captioned, just chilling with Gabby Hannah. In some of Hannah's videos, they danced together in the bathroom and in front of the mirror. He also asked viewers for suggestions on how he could help Hannah's situation. I honestly would like to help. I don't know what to do though. So if anybody has any suggestions, I'm here. In one of Hannah's videos, she asked him, why did he lie on her? Why he broke into her house and tells him to leave her house, which he says in the video. By the way, Nick, yes. I know you know who I am. Come on. Why did you lie to me this whole time? Why did you lie to me? That's for my acne, you dumb <laughs> my house, now, now, now. After Nick left the house, he made several videos defending his actions as to why he went to Hannah's house. Somebody help her, somebody needs to go, and obviously nobody did except for me. And so when I went in there, and now people are saying that she's not posting videos, that EMS are there, or things are happening. So that's, in my eyes, a, a step in the right direction. In a TikTok live stream, he admitted looking up where Hannah lived and said it was public information. And while some people praised him for offering to help Hannah, many others were upset that he found Hannah's address and went to her home, despite not knowing her personally and possibly being under the influence. Some accused him of feeding into her delusions instead of asking for help. At the time of publication, Hannah hadn't posted another TikTok, leading many viewers to wonder if this was a PR stunt or if Hannah is actually having a mental health crisis. One of her followers wrote, I'm very stressed. If that turns out to be a PR stunt, I'll never forgive her. At one point, she claims to have teleported herself into heaven so she could save your souls. In another video, she asks if people believe that she could be the second coming of Christ, they should share her videos and spread the good news. 
Maybe all this is happening because of her mental illness, but there's no clue as to what exactly is wrong with her. Hannah used to not be shy about her own struggles with mental health and how people treated her about these issues. At one point, Hannah tells her followers that the police showed up to her home after her neighbors requested a wellness check. According to Hannah, the police left a card that said she did not meet the criteria for an arrest. You know, as the cops were at my door for a wellness check, one of the neighbors came and interrupted us and scolded one of the officers because the car was the cop car at the neighbor's house. Updating her feed for the latest video, others raised concerns leading to wider discussions of how someone can empathize with Hannah while condemning her comments. Now, what's interesting is a month ago, she dropped her debut album called Trauma Queen. So some people are feeling like she's playing into that whole Trauma Queen persona and she's trying to get more streams and more listens to her music i'm not sure what's going on with gabby hannah hopefully she'll end up finding some type of help and treatment and she'll have people around her who really care and want the best for her so let me know your thoughts on this whole situation concerning gabby hannah how do you guys feel about this i hope you guys like this video make sure you guys subscribe make sure you guys hit the like button and if you want to know more about gabby hannah let me know in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys later deuces if you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.